and see. Hi all and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all fine. Yeah, today I'm gonna just show you quickly how to install the PS3 Cisco Reader package if you want to, let's say, underbolt your PlayStation and stuff like that. I have normally just show you a long, long time ago how to do that all, but today I'm gonna show you really so easy as possible how you can, let's say, get it working with your UART adapter or let's say with your Cisco Reader adapter. So that's why I have made just this here for you guys. The first thing what you do, um, you just download this package, you open it and then you just take this folder and unzip it to your desktop, okay, just like me. I have it already and that's why I'm gonna not do it because my folder is already here like you can see. But you guys just take it, put it out to the desktop, this is the easiest way, okay. So after that, of course, you need to install first the Python. Um, Python is here the version 3.13.2, like you can see. I got here already the version 3.13.3, .3, so this one here is the newest. Uh, but you guys, you can download it later yourself from the internet and then you can just do an update. But it's not that, let's say, important, because this one here I can guarantee uh, that it's really working. Okay, so here 3.13.2 is working definitely. Um, then, while you are installing, it's also important, like on the video, I'm going to put you the video also in this package inside, otherwise you can just read the video description. Here it's very important, uh, while you are just installing it, um, you just click here on the last one, add python.x to the part, okay? That's important, okay? This one here needs to be clicked, it's going to just make you things easier. You just do that, do not forget it, otherwise you're probably going to have some problems later, okay? Do not forget, while you install it, uh, you're going to have this here and you just yeah, select this one as well, okay? Alright, now I'm going to just close this video. Like I told, this is the video which I have made long ago. I'm going to post you this also in the package file, otherwise you're going to find the YouTube link on my video description, okay? So now I'm going to just here close it. After that, you go here inside and install, of course, the drivers. So this one here, you should normally be able to get, let's say, it work it with all the stuff here. Um, after you have installed it, you go here to your, uh, let's say, um, device manager. And then you should see, let's say, that the um, uh, UART adapter or let's say the uh, Cisco adapter is connected. Okay, so here I'm going to not just show you after installing the drivers. You just connect, let's say here, the USB cable to your computer and then we're gonna now just um, get it here inside. Then normally you're gonna hear some sounds. I'm gonna make just the sounds on. Wait, <laughs> I'm gonna do this extra for you again. And I'm gonna connect it now. Take a look. Here we go. And there... Um, you normally can see your adapter and we need to check which COM is it, okay? So here you can see Intel blah 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 manager technology COM3, but this is not ours, okay? We need this one here, USB serial port COM4. This is our COM that we need. You need to check your COM because it's always different on your computer. Maybe you have COM2, COM3, COM14, <laughs> it's up to you, okay? So that's why you need to check on device manager which COM port your, uh, let's say, a Cisco reader is, okay? So if you have problems, I got here an extra folder, which I have really, uh, or let's say for purpose, I have renamed it alternative drivers, okay? So here, if you cannot find or let's say install these drivers, you can go here to this one's here, this here, of course, gonna install it really. Um, you go again, let's say to um, device, device manager, so I'm sorry, here. And then you can just, let's say, click and, let's say, right mouse here. And then you just click uh, driver update, okay? Then you search it and you search on your computer. Um, yeah, sorry. So let's just, yeah, I don't need it anymore. So that's why I'm going to just, yeah, let's say leave. Um, and then you just search this drivers, okay? Over this drivers here. Um, sorry for the focus. Uh, I know it's bad now, but it's easier for me now to do this video because otherwise I need to edit this on the computer and this is going to take a lot of time. So that's why it's just easier now for me to do this 
uh, let's say, over my laptop right now. I know the resolution is not that good, but it doesn't matter. So after that, you, the thing that you do, you just take, um, let's say, this PlayStation script folder and you send it to your desktop, okay? Send it to your desktop. It's the easiest way, guys, okay? <laughs> take this folder, do not forget, PS3 script, take it and send it to your desktop, okay? Do not take it here and move it out. You just press here, right mouse click, and then send it to the desktop, okay, here. Then you're gonna have it here, see that? So that's the easiest way, and that's why I told you. Just do it like this. Here, then, you can just open it, and just then here, on this file here, or let's say on this uh, address line here, you now just type, um, let's say, CMD, okay? Here we go. Now you have, let's say, CMD open. And here, the next step, which is very important before you begin to work with, is this here. And that's why I have, yeah, let's say rename this folder number three as important folder. Here, after installing Python, you can see that, you just go here inside and on Python, you just type here, pip install serial, okay, here. Just copy paste it and put it to your S, um, CMD window, okay, here, and just put it inside, press enter, and this you do again with, let's say, the next comment, which is this one here, pip install uh, pycryptodomax, okay, <laughs> okay, so you need to do that, it's gonna update it all, and just after that, all gonna work really great, okay, then you can see here on folder number four, um, I got you some adapter cable setup. Um, this year is long a time, <laughs> yeah, very long time ago from myself. Here you got ground, TX and RX, okay, it doesn't matter. Um, the brown one is should be, yeah, let's say black. I had no black cable, <laughs> so that's why it's brown. But this one here is ground and here RX, TX. Of course, uh, that you know, if you just, uh, if you just need DIAC, you can solder DIAC directly to ground because these are the same cables but i got here again some great pictures for you there you can see that i have here the die cable which is white i have soldered it to the black one like you can see so that's why i have just all these pictures for you guys that nothing gonna go wrong and this is just the easiest way for, the, uh, for you to do here you can see i'm on a playstation 3 fat edition because the most people gonna use it on the fat edition but you're gonna let's say find lots of um, other motherboards if you are using or let's say if you have a playstation 3 slim edition super slim whatever okay so but this is here just that you can see tx rx diac and here ground okay you can solder them all together i got it here already prepared for you guys and just then when you have to just do it all just like here this gonna work okay and all the rest you can see on my other video and you need of course to read yourself a little bit in the internet because if you want to undervolt your PlayStation there are some stuff uh, that you need to know okay there are some things that you need to know like uh, which um, bug controller do you have uh, mostly on the fat editions the, the backwards compatible ones uh, you just need the million VID table which means um, yeah the volts table that you know how much voltage and uh, what or let's say what commands you're gonna need to set the right voltage. Here you can see folder number five, PS3 UART connections. Okay, so this is the, let's say the, um, yeah, the adapter here. And here the thing is also for people which are not able to solder, okay, because not everyone can solder or let's say uh, work with a solder iron. I got here a great thing, look at this. Yeah, these are some clamps from, yeah, made of wood. And you can just take some needles and get them here inside. So here you're going to have, let's say, the contact. Up there, you get your cable. So it's not really necessary to solder it, okay? <laughs> but this is more for people that are maybe afraid of soldering or working, or let's say, yeah, afraid to work with the soldering iron. Here you can see how this is made. Really great. This is made from Paco. Um, look at this. This is just a clamp here. And you get just, let's say, a, a thin needle uh, through. And of course, you need, uh, let's say, to um, yeah, adjust it on the contact, you see, just like here. Adjust it yourself and then just let it go. 
and this is going to press the contact to the motherboard. This is really great. Okay, so the next, uh, uh, wait, 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 here. Oh, sorry. So the next one is, I think, this one here. Yeah, no, it was already. And then this you can see here also, okay? So there's Diac, there's TX, RX, and all the stuff, okay? So it's really great. So for people that are not able to solder, or with, for the people that has no soldering iron at home. And here you can also see for all super slim models. And uh, you have all, let's say, the package inside that you can see where to solder your cables. All the other rest you're going to find, let's say, here on this folder. Um, you're going to have, let's say, the um, yeah, Syscon reader connections for all the models here, okay? For all the PlayStations, okay? You can see it also here. Diag, TX, RX, and stuff like that. Okay, but you just take a look then, and this is up to you then. Uh, here, like I told, you can find all the stuff. Okay, that's why I have made you here, um, let's say, step one, step two, step three, important, four, five, and enable internal mode for the PlayStation 3 Fat Editions for the, let's say, backwards compatibly ones. And I'm sorry for my English again. <laughs> Other documents and the, uh, the PlayStation 3 script which is the most important, you just got here inside. I have just let you this one here because this is the most necessary ones. And you got also here other scripts, which is not for you, I think, that important. The most important here is this one, like I have already uh, done it uh, for you. Okay, so as you have, let's say, sent this folder to your desktop, you can now just go easy on the folder. See that? Just like I do, just go here now easy to this folder then here you just type cmd so c m d enter here now you just take the script you move it to the left side or whatever just move it inside now you type in your com port in my case is com4 and then um, of course in my case c x r f to connect let's say to the playstation um, I need to turn my here. I need to turn it on. Here we go. And then this should now work. Take a look. So here we go. Then, of course, I need now to write out this all you're going to find on my YouTube video because I have already explained this all. And all the other stuff you should, yeah, let's say, watch my videos because I will not explain this all. This is just too much information for you guys right now. And, of course, for these people that want to, let's say, uh, yeah, let's say do some undervoltings. You should know about some stuff, and that's why I'm not gonna explain this all because these are important things that you need to know. Because someone that has no clue about that all, he should not begin to do that stuff because this is danger, you know. So you just need to do that if you really know what you are doing, and that's why for all the rest, then you can now just check. Let's say you can now, um, yeah, take a look on the. RSX voltage here, read 3111, which is the uh, address for the RSX. And then you can just take a look inside and you can see it's just on stock. It's standard, FF means standard. But this is all the stuff that I have explained you all on the other videos. I just wanted now to explain you how to, let's say, get this um, PlayStation 3 Syscon reader package installed. I have done this long ago, like I told on my video, but the problem is that all these files now get older and it's not working that great anymore. Okay, and on Windows 7, uh, which I had also working long ago, uh, it's not working anymore because uh, it was Python 2.87, I think. <laughs> we got now Python 3.13. And this here is just, uh, let's say, working um, with here, uh, let's say, Windows 10, Windows 11 and stuff like that. Okay, so I hope you like this video. This was just a quick uh, tutorial for you guys. You're going to find all the pictures, all the soldering points and all the stuff. And not to forget again, uh, Diag, if you use Diag, you can solder Diag directly to ground. Okay, just like I have done here. This is the easiest way. I have soldered it here under there because... I want, let's say, the pins free for my own PlayStation. So if I need to connect it to my own PlayStation, I got steal the cables on my own PlayStation connected. So I just need to take them off and connect it to my PlayStation. Okay, so that's really great also. And here for, let's say, all the other peoples, you can also solder it under there. Like you can see, I'm sorry for the lights, but I hope you can 
just uh, still see it very great okay and important that you also should know of course before you begin to work with that stuff um, first connect let's say the notebook or your computer to the cable or let's say to the connector and just then turn on the playstation and uh, also it's just yeah easy go you just need the power supply and you just connect this cable here because the most that you need uh, to get working all is just the five volts let's say stand standby uh, voltage and stuff like that you don't need really to connect this on the motherboard i have shown you this and proved this let's say two three years ago it's not necessary that you connect all the power supply back to the motherboard okay because we really just need this cables here it doesn't matter what other people say i tell you guys i have tested and proved it all never had problems you just need your power supply and this cables for let's say the five volts line okay the same goes um i don't know where i got it right now ah here the same goes to the playstation 3 slim editions and that's why i have just here just always like this here i have just the power supply with this cable the rest i don't need because it's not needed okay i think i was one of the first ones on the internet which have made a video about the Cisco Reader connection guide and stuff like that with Paco. Greetings and shout out to Paco. I really like this guy. I love him. And yeah, these people has made this all possible. Do never forget about these people. Okay, guys. All right. This was all for me. And I seen the place to be. I wish you all the best. And yeah, stay tuned on my channel. Bye bye. Peace. And see. In the place to be. And see.